So in the last couple of years, we've spent a lot of time listening to feedback and thinking about how we could make the experience of Otto even more enjoyable and how that could generate even better and more reliable results. Probably our greatest accomplishment over the last couple of years has been developing the Otto induction top. It's light and portable. It's an electronic heat source, so it delivers exactly the same amount of heat to the boiler every single time you use it. It actually made sense along the line to include some heat settings for boiling water and for cooking. There are five heat settings and I used it the other day to cook a bolognese sauce over five hours that came up beautifully. We've also looked at tamping and we looked at the nylon tamper that comes in the kit and we've taken that a step further too. And now as an accessory, we've got a stainless steel base tamper that's quite a bit heavier and very comfortable to use. We've also done a 58 mil for baristas for use with commercial machines because it made sense after all the work and the consideration that went into doing the new stainless steel tamper for Otto to do something that could then be used in a wider sense. As well as that for the people that are a bit more enthusiastic and naked porter filter. You can really see exactly how that espresso is flowing through the basket and diagnose and look at how well you're dosing your basket and how consistently the water is flowing through that puck of ground coffee. So knowing that if we dose the basket properly, it would actually start extracting almost exactly at eight minutes. So what we've done is we've introduced a beep, just a very plain electronic beep at the beginning of the extraction so that you can listen out for it without needing to be watching over it the whole time. So one of the breakthroughs we had in dosing was looking at a slightly coarser grind. So using exactly the same grind that cafes are using with their commercial machines, a commercial espresso grind or a straight espresso grind. Probably not what you're buying out of a supermarket as an espresso grind, more the grind that they'd be using in a cafe on a commercial machine. It's a slightly different process, so I'll run you through it now. Dose the basket, collapse it just to settle the coffee, wipe it so it's all even, and give it just a light tamp. All you're doing is just creating a bit more room. There's no force required there. So dose again, just filling the basket again, slightly overfilling it with coffee. Give it another tap, smooth it off again, and then give it a firm tamp to finish with. and a polish of course, just so you've got a nice smooth surface before you lock it back into the machine. So using a pre-ground coffee is fine, just come out of the bag, collapse it just to settle the coffee, wipe it and give it a tamp. You're using a little bit more coffee at a slightly coarser grind. That's gonna allow the water to travel more evenly through the coffee. So all we're doing is using the resistance of ground coffee against the drive of the boiler to create a controlled flow. Just a little scratch in the beginning with the steam tip just at the surface and then lift the jug slightly and find that spot in the jug where the milk's spinning around and coming back through on itself. So purging now is what will keep that jet clear. So hopefully all of this has been helpful and if there are any questions jumping up, please send us an email.